Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at optimizing this mesh and um, getting it ready to save um, for uh, for uh, runtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and save this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, save as, and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call this um, game ready. And the reason I've done that is we're now going to optimize this. And I get this ready so we can now roll back to that previous previous version of uh, this file and modify the trees however we like and then and then and then get that ready to um, save for the game too so let's unhide all and we no longer need these and we no longer need these and what we need now are just these uh, branches okay so we're going to invert the selection Let's go to invert and let's let's select all and let's delete whatever these keyframes are here okay so let's select all these branches and we're going to go ahead choose invert and we're going to go hide selection so this is essentially all we get now what we need to do is we need to collapse these and the way we can do that is if we right click our, our select one of these and then we right click up here and go collapse to and press yes and we need to do this for each one yes and let's do the same now we can't simply convert these two as we'll probably like in a traditional way like where we right click and just convert to as we'll probably it won't work and this is because of that path deform WSM that's on top of this so we need to go around and collapse it like this so let's just make sure we have all these choose yes and if we if we select all these we unhide all you see that everything is still unaffected by that so let's just check everything again yes 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 and okay and yes so once we have this we can select each one of these okay let's select this 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 and this and we can convert this to an well poly and we need to take the end pieces and collapse them. So I'm going to collapse these and let's do this for each one. So let's go to collapse and collapse. And uh, we just need to keep going through these. So we're going to collapse these two. And we also need to select these and collapse them now if we uh, look inside here we also have polygons on the inside so we can delete these so we need to do this for each one too and it looks like we didn't um collapse this so collapse two there we go and we need to convert this let's just unhide all make sure we didn't mess anything up here by doing that okay it looks like yep so it's fine okay so let's undo this and let's go ahead and convert this to editable poly and let's delete the inside of this and actually what we can do is we can attach all these together and we can um, select the bottom here delete them and we should just be able to select these like so and delete them so let's go to select and um if we choose grow here and we can see that that one's fine we could do the same here so we click grow let's see did, so there's a polygon underneath here we can delete that let's like this let's choose grow that one's fine it's like this choose grow let's see if we, that one nope okay so it looks like we've deleted all them and we have optimized the ends here 
and so what we're going to do is um we're going to press m let's see so this was on id1 so we need to go ahead and set this to id1 so let's unhide all let's select this let's just hide selection now what we need to do is we need to collapse these and the way we're going to do that is we're going to select them all and we're going to go to motion trajectories and we want to set this to zero and zero and we want to choose position rotation and scale which is collapse and what that does is this just collapses all the information about the rotation position and scale of each one of these um, because we have um, placed these along the spline and then we had um, we had um, uh, rotate them and, and so on and so forth so just by doing that by collapsing that then we collapse everything so if we delete the splines we, we no longer need them and what this gives us is the uh, just the canopy which is uh, great so we can go to um, attach which is all press ok and our material ID is already set up on this so we can go ahead and apply this and uh, let's just undo this let's um it's like we hadn't let's let's polygons and um, we're going to choose select id one so it looks like one is the so we need to set this to two and then invert this set this to one there we go so now we should be able to apply this successfully and we should still get the branches there there we go still got all the branches in there and we can unhide this and we can select this and we can also go ahead and assign this and that looks fine there we go so now we have our tree and it is ready almost ready for the the game now there is this other issue we need to take care of and that is the shading okay so what i mean by that is um the, the normal information of of the leaves are um, not correctly set up and you can see this as as we move around um let me give you an example if i if i place a light in here and we turn this let's just um let's just do something like uh, this and we turn this to realistic what you can see is that the, the shading of this becomes very dark underneath and that's not really what we want otherwise what we'd get inside the game is um, this the underside of the uh, normals here would be very dark so we need to fix that and so to do this we need a, a script okay so I'm using this script it's called um, um, slide normal thief and i'll try and provide a link to this inside the comments okay so if i open up this what we need to do is well let's first of all hide the hide selection and let's go ahead and what we need to do now is we need to select um let's see press m we need to select id Let's see, is it ID? We need to select those branches. I believe it was two. So it's ID two. Nope. Uh, one. Okay. Yep, it was one. And we're just going to detach these. So I'm going to go ahead and choose detach. Choose OK. And I'm going to hide these. So all we. Oops. And uh, let's invert that. Hide section. So all we have is, is the leaves. And this is what we want to. Um, correct the normal information so what the script does is it, it will take a reference mesh and then it will um, project the normals from the reference mesh onto this and so in order for this to work you need to have an edit normals on so I'm going to go to edit um, let's see edit normals there we go and I'm going to create a reference mesh now I'm going to choose a sphere as this is going to be the, the best fit for this so I'm just going to place this up like so and we need to let's see let's convert this to an export poly and let's add that edit normals back on top of here 
So it's going to ask us to grab the reference object. So the reference is going to be the sphere and the uh, target to which we want to project the normals on is going to be um, is going to be the uh, the leaves. So I'm just going to save this before we continue. And I'm going to click steal and it's going to go ahead and steal the normal information. Okay, so that has uh, done. So now if we hide this and uh, you can see the shading has dramatically changed there. So if I go ahead and place that Omni light back in here, you can see that as we move around that the shading is um, uh, more uniform. And this is uh, essentially what we are looking for when we do this. Okay, so this is the, the correct shading now. So let's go ahead and delete this and I'm going to unhide all and we can go ahead and save and at this point we can reattach everything so I'm just going to go to attach and I'm going to select everything and press attach and let's just call this tree and the last thing we can do here is if I press G to go to the grid Let's just see where this is. Let's press G. There we go. What we can do is we can go ahead and reset the um, pivot of this. And you see here is the center. So I'm just going to do a quick modification here along the bottom. I'm going to flatten this. And I'm just going to pull this up. Let's see, let's do this. And so now we have this. There we go. So now this is the center and when we, when we export this, we'll be ready. I just want to make this a little less harsh. There we go. Okay, so here is our tree. It's ready to go. Um, we are ready to export this. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead, export our tree and get it set up inside Unreal Engine. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.